Hello and thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel, Kate May, Modern Day Mystic, and for my VIPs who's watching this as a first timer. So um, we are looking at May now, May tarot scopes. I absolutely love May. We're going to look at water signs first of all. So this is the tarot scopes for Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancerians. First of all, we're going to have a look at your love life. Let's have a look at what's going on for you Cancerians. Let's do you first. Cancerians, this is your love life. Okay. Love life, Cancerians, for the month of May. We have a little bit of worry here. Okay, so you could be overthinking things. You could be a bit drama-rama. You could be having some blocks, mental blocks. Now, this card, although it looks a bit harrowing, doesn't it, to start off with, it actually says try not to worry because the worries could be unnecessary. So in your love life, if you're concerned about something, it may not be as bad as what you first think it is. You might be making a mountain out of a molehill or just feeling extra sensitive at the moment, Cancerians. So try in your love life to put aside all your worries, all your concerns. And sometimes this card comes up when it's just mental things. It's just things that's going on in your mind, going round and round and round in circles and not actually getting anywhere. So communicate, talk to people, get it off your chest what you're trying to say so that it's not in your head, not going round and round. If you're having trouble sleeping, if you're suffering from anxiety of any kind there in your relationship area, Cancerians, this card promises that things will start becoming a bit easier for you once you can start to communicate and let go of all that concern in your mind there. Like I said, it may be that you're worrying unnecessarily, so try not to make a mountain out of a molehill in your love life. Now, let's have a look at your money area, Cancerians, for the month of May. Your money area. Okay, the justice card comes up with money. So this is asking you to be accountable for your actions now. There may be some legal things going on. There may be some things of important nature. So you might have to sign some documents or look at uh, important things, emails, perhaps letters there connected to finances. It's also indicating, like I said, to be accountable. So if you said you're going to be saving, we've still got the Taurus sun. If you said you're going to be saving, if you said you're going to be doing this or doing that, you've got to put your money where your mouth is. So this is saying get the balance around your finances, but now start being accountable. If, you've know, if you know you've overspent in any area, if you know that you've done something where you think, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that, hold your hands up. Don't worry about it because it will be better if you can just be accountable for it. Take personal responsibility for your money. But the justice card also brings about balance, trying to find some balance and get into the bottom of things so you can have balance within your finances state. And then Cancerians, let's have a look at your general card. General card, and it's another money card, but this is your general message for the month of May. So this says that actually you are going to be in a position where you may be looking for a bonus or you might be looking for a loan. And this indicates that yes, you're probably going to get it. If you're lucky enough to be the one handing out money, then you could find that you're a bit flushed this month. So you want to help those that aren't so um, comfortable as yourself there. It's a generosity card. It also links into um, charity and voluntary work. So there could be some charity work that you're looking at there, Cancerians. Again, it's about balance. It's interesting, isn't it? Because you had the justice card with your money there. And although this is a, a um, general read, a general card, here we're looking at the pentacles, so material things, and we've still got those scales. So very much around getting the balance in your life of all things, particularly on a material level this time round for you, Cancerians. Do remember, though, that people need to help themselves, you know? Sometimes you can help too much, and they just uh, take, 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 or you just give, give, give. So get the balance of everything there. But if you're feeling a bit lucky, then sometimes it's nice to do a good turn. Like I said, if you're the one that's feeling a bit poor, then expect to have a little bonus or a little bit of helping hand there. Okay, Cancerians, and that is your messages there from the tarot cards. Let's have a little look at my Mystic Message deck and give you a message from these. You can purchase these if you wish on my own website, www.kakemay.co.uk. So, Cancerians, it's a spiritual message for you, and this says you're not going mad. You're opening up. Your vibration is changing, and with it, so are you. You are becoming more awakened. Meditate for more. There you go, Cancerians. That is your mystic message for the month of May. Meditate for more and be open to awakenings, spiritual awakenings there. Have a fabulous May. Now let's move in to Scorpios for the month of May. Scorpios, let's check out your love life here. What's going on with your love life? 
celebrations fabulous so celebrations can come in all manner of ways this could be birthdays that you're having with your partners or loved ones this could be um, recognition of some things it's a real positive card in, in not just your love life but in your relationships all around that there's a reason to celebrate there it asks you to bring in the feminine element it asks you to kind of be in tune to your emotions as well and your intuition to do with relationships there it is the celebrations card now sometimes in relationships this can say that there's um let me, how can i put this that maybe um there's some extra fun, let's say it like that. There's some extra fun that could be had. It's important when this card comes up in your love life that you do have some fun, that you don't take things too serious, that you don't get too bogged down and that you see the lighter side of life. And like I said, celebrations there. So great card. And now that things are going to start to open up, in, uh, in the UK here, things are opening up a bit more, you might be able to go out and have a bit more fun. And if you're single, who knows, but keep it light and keep it fun. Okay, let's have a look in your money area there, Scorpios. Here we've got the win the, the battle card. Now, the win in the battle card says just keep going, you're on top of things. Yes, you could be up against some obstacles and perhaps some jealousy or some challenges there, and you may be caught out with some things. So you could be caught on the hop to have to defend your finances, but stick with it, hold your own, stick with it, stand your own, stand firm, because if you keep going and keep going and don't give up, you can win any battles there and overcome things to do with your finances. And a general message for you, Scorpios, is the um, pay, um, Ace of Pentacles, get my words mixed up. So there's gonna be some new opportunities here, perhaps to new, move home or to do with a home, perhaps a, perhaps a financial offer to do with your home or investments and money again. So even though this is a general message, it indicates that there's going to be new practical things coming in that look like they've got a material gain coming for you. So you could come up with new ideas, you could be open to new ideas that have come out of the blue to earn a few extra quid there, or you could have some offers coming around you that is going to help with the home area. So a great card for you all round there, Scorpios. And let's have a look at these Mystic May messages for you. It's the health area. Okay, it says, my advice to you now, babe, would be to take a walk and meditate in nature. So if things have been a little bit hectic for you, then maybe you want to just take yourself out of life, spend some time in nature. There's some gorgeous bluebell woods around. Maybe go and see some of nature there and meditate. Meditate for some peace and tranquility time for you there, Scorpios. Okay, let's have a look at Pisces. Pisces, what do we have in your love life? Mrs. or Mr. Dreamy. Pisces, Ace of Wands. Get my mind. Ace of Wands. So, Ace of Wands in your love area, Pisces. This is saying that there's going to be some new spark, new inspiration, a little bit of um, va -va room coming in your love life. This, oh, do you see that flash? This card indicates that there is going to be a bit more spark coming up, a little bit more motivation, and you're going to be feeling maybe a little bit more frisky there. You've got a bit more oomph coming in around your love life there. Now, things may surprise you. There could be some things coming out of the blue that's going to help your love life, or perhaps a new new person or new excitement that's coming in but it's a yes card it's to go for it go for it there let's have a look in your money zone the knight of wands now the knights are action cards so they take the idea from an ace and they move it forward so in your money area it's saying that now's the time to take action if you've been thinking that you want to save or that you want to spend whatever it is that you want to do now's the time to do it get going with it it's indicating that things can take off for you. Be a little bit wary though, because in the finance area, this card, although it's quite a positive card and it does indicate things are gonna take off in a positive way, sometimes you might be feeling that you're spending too quickly, spending too much. So again, try and get that balance of where you're spending your money there. Don't rush into things too much and then later on regret it. Regret it. You know, Pisces, you can tend to bury your head in the sand generally and, and just think, fuck it, I'm just gonna do it. and, and sort the consequences out lately, later. And you might find that you live to regret that. So it is an action card, it is a do now card, but it's also indicating that maybe just be a bit aware of what you're rushing, rushing into around your finances. And let's have a look around your general card there. 
It is the gorgeous sun, fabulous sun, Pisces. So the sun card here, Pisces indicates, again, it's another yes card, happy families, good news, vitality, feeling better all around, good health, and just feeling like that you wanna maybe get in touch with your inner child. Maybe you just wanna um, do a bit of creative arts, fun, or spending time with younger children there. Maybe there's some happy family news coming in its way for you, Pisces. This is a card, though, of abundant times. Joy, happiness, fun-filled, creative energy there. And it is getting in touch with your inner child and just doing some things that maybe are a little bit more... It's going to be suited to you, dreamy. Now, this card can also talk about holidays. And I know some of us can't get away at the moment, but there may be some Pisces that are talking or thinking when the time comes, you can get away there. This is a really good card all round, indicating happy families and happy abundant time. So we're loving that for you, Pisces. So there you go, water signs. Oh, let me just pick a Mystic May card for you, Pisces. Almost forgot. Mystic May message for you, Pisces, is it's in the love area. Don't buy the hat just yet. At least keep the receipt. Sometimes us romantic souls fall in love with love itself. I'm not feeling this one is the one. Okay, so despite having that spark of creation at the beginning there in your love area, this card is saying it may start off all fancy and all hearts and flowers, but just be careful. Don't rush in too yet, too far yet. Keep your wits about you. Keep grounded with things going on there. All right, but do have some fun with it. Why not? Have fun with Mr. Or Mr. Mr. or Mrs. Wrong before you meet Mrs. Right. That's what I always say. But enjoy the times. Um, that Definitely with the sun there, things are looking up for you, Pisces. So, water signs, have a fabulous May, whatever your plans are. If you'd like to book a full reading with me, just look at my website, www.katemay.co.uk, or message, and I will be in touch. Take care. Bye.